All right, guys, welcome to Sunday Food Prep. I'm your host, Dimitri Jankoulis, and as always, we are here with the lovely Francesca. Hi, hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this Sunday again. Yeah, we're going to be doing fresh salads today, right? Yes, today's theme is summer fresh salads, and we figured, you know what? We talked about protein in the first week. We talked about carbohydrates in the second week. Today's a beautiful day. People are going to be wanting to have something light. We're inspired by the beautiful weather. Yes. May, but... you know, flowers are starting to bloom and all that good stuff. So we're here to just bring some freshness to your plate. You got and it. It's my favorite. I love salads. I have them all the time. Um, so today we're going to be starting off with um, not your typical salad that, you know, I know you guys know how to make a uh, Caesar salad, a Greek salad. Everybody knows how to make Greek salad. Um, just regular salads, right? Where you can just put some dressing on. So we're trying to give you some ideas of new salads that you can make at home uh, by yourself with your kids. Um, but this is totally something a little bit more. Hopefully, you haven't had any of these before, and we're introducing you to something uh, a something little different. Yeah. A little now different. I must say, uh, all my cooking skills, I have to admit, have come from this beautiful lady. Yeah. I have been with this beautiful lady uh, since I was 18, so as much as I thought my cooking schools were good, and even though I've worked at restaurants, I have to eat, uh, say that. But, but let's give let's give thanks to our moms, our yes. moms who our moms. totally taught us how to cook. Yes. Uh, you know, you have the Greek and the Italian inspired, so thank you to our moms, yes. uh, especially with Mother's Day coming up next week. That's right. We really want to thank them for uh, doing a good job and teaching us how to cook. So we got four amazing, I'm just gonna read them out to you guys. Francesca's gonna go in terms of the order of operation of how to make them. Uh, all the recipes for all the PMF members have been sent to you in an email. You can click on the link, it'll pop up to you, you can save them. These are four brand new fresh salads. The first one, you make this one first, right? Yeah. That's four, yeah. one, two, three, four. So the way we're gonna make them, we're gonna have we're gonna make four different salads today, and the way we're gonna break them down is we're gonna do our fresh like garden salad that when you're making dinner, um, you have to have it basically right away with your uh, they dinner. They don't last mm -hmm. too long, so you have to eat it right away, right? And then, so that's our first two. So we're gonna do an arugula salad, and then we're gonna do one with romaine. And then our other two salads are gonna be something that you can store in a Tupperware, and they're gonna be good for two, two to two, three, three, even four days. I think the, days the longer you eat the coleslaw, the better. So here they are, guys, just in case you didn't know. We have a creamy Greek romaine cucumber and dill salad. Just, just you can just taste it from there. The second one is going to be from the obviously the Italian side. We have an arugula and pear parmigiano salad, nice and light, nice and beautiful. Our third one is going to be one that Francesca and I came up with a while back, and this is the purple kale cabbage feta salad. This is my favorite one that can last in the fridge for two, three, four days. The longer, the more creamier. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we have our cauliflower, chickpea, tomato, and dill salad. So these last two salads that Dimitri just uh, mentioned, these are the ones that we're gonna be storing in our Tupperware, and they're good for two to three days. So we always have these salads in our fridge because sometimes, you know, being busy parents, owning a business, you know how it is, going to work, you need something quick, but healthy and nutritious at the same time. So sometimes you don't have time to cut up a salad, so that's why we store these salads in the fridge and they're ready to go. So we're gonna start off with our- What do you want me to do? So this is gonna be the uh, creamy romaine cucumber and dill salad. So it's got a little bit of a Greek uh, twist to it. It is not a Greek, typical Greek salad. It is not your typical Greek. We just put a little bit of a spin to it and just our dressing is mainly Greek, but everything else is uh I'm gonna read through these really quickly, that way you, when she makes them, you kind of understand what's in them. So, yes. you'll need two tablespoons full of plain Greek yogurt. You'll need two tablespoons of olive oil. You'll need half a lemon squeezed. You'll need a pinch of salt and black pepper, a small garlic clove, three to four stems of fresh dill. You'll need half a red onion. You'll need a full romaine lettuce and two small cucumbers. Okay, very so simple. So I'm gonna start, I've already washed my romaine. So we're gonna just, Take our romaine and start cutting that. I'm gonna open this. No, uh, Dimitri, in the meantime, because we're doing this one, just okay. cut, follow the recipe and just 
start cutting some uh, Okay cucumbers. guys, I'll do the next part then. Cucumbers. Right, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And if you want, if you like onions, you can also throw in a little bit of a purple um, onion in there. Yes, for color. For color, for flavor, it's up to you. I'm not a fan of onions, Dimitri is. So, so I'm a fan over here, dill. Dill, yes. But that's going to be for my, so just do the cucumbers. Okay. So we're taking the cucumbers, we're chopping them up in thin pieces. Okay. And this will feed about, if you're using a whole romaine lettuce, this will feed for sure four people, okay? Okay guys, so there's your cucumbers, diced up into small little cubes. Some people like to go long in terms of the look to make it look fancy and pretty. This is much easier to work with. So I'll leave this right here. Okay, so we got that over the lettuce, small circle, boom. Okay. And some red onion. Yeah, and just small uh, red onion. Yeah, right. just really, really small. Uh, So typically we like to make, when we're cooking in bulk, we'll make the proteins in bulk as usual. We'll probably have something on the barbecue, something in the oven, something boiling. So you can have some eggs boiling, some chicken in the oven with bone in it because the bone gives you more flavor when you're actually having the meal. You can have some red meats or whatever on the barbecue with some fish. And then our carbohydrates as we did last week, which was some kind of a, a grain and a bean salad. And now with your salad, as Francesca said, you want to make two large ones you can have that stay in the fridge. So if you want to have it tomorrow for lunch or tomorrow for dinner, it's ready to go. And then these ones will be the ones you'll be having fresh right then and there. Yes. So for this salad, you want to be using a plain Greek yogurt. So this is the one that we usually buy uh, because it's really, really high in protein. Um, some of them, you know, they say Greek yogurt, but when you look at your label in the back, just pay attention to how much protein per serving and how much uh, carbs. So we're going to take in here, I already have two tablespoons, you can't see it's right at the bottom, so I'm just going to do my dressing all in this container and then just pour it in from here. So in here I have about, uh, I'm going to say three tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. Then I'm going to add to this uh, two, two tablespoons of olive oil. Guys, notice what she's doing here, she's making the dressing separate. A lot of people make the mistake, they'll toss everything in the salad, They'll put the dressing on top and then they'll try to mix it up and you don't really get that good mixture. You want to be able to add the dressing separately so you're adding the flavor and the juice to get to mix them together. They don't absorb or take over your actual vegetables inside. So guys, because also this is plain Greek yogurt and we're dressing it for a salad, you want to make sure that you're using about um, two teaspoons of salt. You want to be generous because your dressing needs uh, salt and also for it to coat your lettuce as well, right? So we're going to put a generous amount of salt and we're also going to use some pepper. Okay, so then what you want to do is you can either use apple cider uh, vinegar or what we like to use is lemon so about I'm gonna say because we brought uh, slices here we don't have half a lemon but just if you do have half a lemon go ahead and squeeze that in so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a few of these uh, lemon wedges inside and then what you want to do is uh, take also uh, one garlic clove and you're gonna take your garlic press and squeeze it inside the sauce here, okay? So one garlic clove and right. half the juice of a lemon. Or if you don't have lemon, you can use apple cider vinegar. Now, the other secret of the kitchen is to make sure you got someone cleaning while yeah. you cook. Yes. Or else you're gonna have a messy kitchen. Yes. So our secret ingredient that's going in here is dill. So this smells really fresh. Uh, it's used in a lot of um, Greek.
Greek dishes usually. So, and it goes my, my mother-in-law is watching right now, and I know she loves dill. So here you go. This is for you. So Notice you, how she's using scissors, guys, versus cutting them up so much easier. So it's up to you. You can either use a chopping board and cut this up really thinly. I just find that with the scissors, you get them really, really tiny, the pieces. And that goes directly into your container. So guys, this is a good tip. Like when you're almost finished your yogurt container. Reuse it. And you have only a little bit, few tablespoons left of your Greek yogurt. This is a, such an amazing salad dressing to me because instead of getting all of the extra calories you need from the hidden ingredients that are put in some of the dill drink the creamy dressings you get Caesar salad whatever instead of you making your own by using the Greek yogurt you're actually getting high protein um, no real sugar into it and also no carb as well yes so you want to mix all that in as you can see there you go so I'm stirring all that in so you have your garlic, your lemon, your dill, your yogurt, your um, olive oil. So that's getting all stirred up. Because me and Dimitri like it really, really creamy, we're gonna add um, some um, feta cheese. Got it. Okay, so I, go I, ahead and I pop heard feta the cheese. cucumber. We're gonna put in the cucumbers inside. And so remember guys, when you're making your salad, step number one, wash your ingredients. Step number two, make your dressing first. Step number three, dump your stuff in. And then step number four, you can pour all your amazing dressing on top and rock and roll. Okay, so some feta. Beautiful. So, and we wanna, because we're trying to get more of like a creamy texture here, you don't wanna have big chunks. So really crumble it if you can in really tiny pieces. And that's gonna go inside our dressing here. Chop, 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 really small pieces. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go inside here. So guys, when you're stirring this in now, you're going to break the pieces even further. So it's just going to be like a really creamy sauce. Okay, because mine's a little bit thicker right now, I'm just, I just wanted a little bit more liquid. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of olive oil. And guess what, guys, if you're making your dressings on the side, as opposed to killing the whole meal, let's say you made a little bit too much. You can't really take it off from your meal. Let's say you put too little. So there's right? our salad. So we're going to go ahead and... You can always keep it for later on. Yeah. That looks like a nice creamy tzatziki. Mmm. Yeah. So this salad is meant to look feel and taste a bit creamy guys yeah. it's not going to be like your salad that's got olive oil the juices from the tomato salt and pepper your typical salad this is the one that's going to be nice and creamy and you can smell the garlic the lemon the dill so you're going to toss that inside mix that all around piece of fish when you need it. So that's what it looks like, okay? Mm, I'm going to zoom in for all the people who are watching. Just slide through here. Okay. Wow, wow, look at that, guys. Nice and creamy. All you got to do is add a nice piece of meat to that, and we're good to go. Okay, so that's our First dish. creamy dill Greek salad. Okay? That took 15 minutes, guys. Okay. 15 minutes, ready, stopwatch, ready to go for the next one. Okay, Three. so salad number two. Boom! It's okay. gonna be our arugula salad. So Dimitri's just gonna uh, help me. I'm gonna cut this up. Yeah. I'm gonna read you the ingredients too, guys. Francesca made all of these from scratch last night. So one, this uh, will will serve about two, two, two people, depending on how much um, arugula you put in. You'll need two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, or you can use apple cider vinegar. One, um, 
teaspoon of raw honey or agave nectar in case you want that bit of sweetness to it, a pinch of sea salt, crushed black pepper. You'll need three ounces of Parmigiano cheese. It's gotta be Parmigiano cheese or else it's not gonna taste the same. And if you're, if you're concerned about how much is an ounce, just think of your thumb, an adult's thumb. That's a full ounce, okay? So it's like when we're telling females to have one ounce of fat in every meal they eat, five, six times a day, that's what we're looking for. So you want two to three thumbs of the cheese you want um, two ounces of chopped walnuts, and you want 2.5 cups of arugula, if you possible, organic if not, and then half of a large pear. That's it, okay? And then as always, when you're going for the ingredients, you're looking at making your dressings first. You're looking at making your dressings first, sorry. Um, yes, making your dressings first separate, so that way if you made too much, you don't have to put all of it in. And if you want to save some for later on, you have some left over for later so on. So for this uh, dressing, Dimitri, do you want to take one of these cups right here? Yep, measuring cups. Yeah, right, just right here, that mug, and use like something a little, pour it in. Perfect. All right, so for just to make the dressing here, I got my pear. Now, when you're making the salad, you want to make sure your pear pieces are chopped nice and thin like shavings. You do not want chunks, square chunks. Yes, so for this wanna... recipe, you want something long. Um... Right. We don't want to bust the ones too. Okay, so again, I'm going to so show you. Is, like... So this is, um, I like to call this our uh, date night salad. Dimitri oh and I, every time we go out, we'll make it, uh, I'll make it for us when we're at home. Just, you know, on a Friday night, me and him, the kids don't usually uh, like this salad. So this is something that just me and Dimitri love to eat. Okay. Uh, so. Guys, you see the shavings? You want them to taste as if someone put them through a deli slicer and they're nice and thin. You don't want to have big chunks. And now again, depending on your goal, if it's weight loss, weight gain, people are always asking us what is the, the sizing of the carbohydrate. Really it comes down to your body type and your activity level. A half a cup, a half of fruits is considered an extremely healthy size for someone to have a portion, even if it's gonna be a little bit later on at night. Because think of this, this is half of a pear, so a pear has got about 25 to 30 grams of carb. Half is gonna give you 15. This half is gonna be shared amongst two or three people, so you're not really getting the full carbohydrate serving. Now look how much quantity that is, okay? And that's just half that's a pear. Half a pear, yes. Versus you having the full pear to yourself or the full pizza by yourself. Yeah, and if this is gonna be just a single portion, then don't use half a pear. Like if you're trying to watch your sugar and carbs, go for uh, a quarter, right? A quarter Got piece. A quarter piece. Uh, so this is gonna be, no, uh, I already have it here, so I'm gonna do my dressing now. So, Parmigiano what cheese. we need, hold on. So what we need is two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Want this for mixing? We're gonna do. I'm doing three right now. Okay. And then I'm gonna be doing one tablespoon of uh, balsamic vinegar. Again, you can use apple cider or even lemon. Okay, so Parmigiano cheese, okay, this thing will go forever and the older it gets, the better it tastes. Um, this one is obviously a fresh one. We want to cut these into thin shavings, correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, you can actually grate it on top too. I brought the grater, so if you want to grate it, it's even nicer. Done. We'll do it's half grate. You. you can either do slices, you can grate it on top. As long as you get the flavor of the Parmigiano in there, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So now I'm gonna take my pears. So for, for demonstration purposes, we're not using a massive bowl, we're having it nice and small for Yeah, you. so this is typically like something that me and you share together, like about this size. Um, okay, so Dimitri's doing uh, like, shavings like of the shavings. sheet, he likes the 
a little bit thicker. So you wanna take your Fud Me Channel shaving. You're gonna put that on top. I'm cutting extra, guys, because I'm gonna eat it myself. <laughs> Make sure you have your assistant chef who's cleaning the kitchen as you're doing this, guys. Remember, can't be with one person. It's a team effort. Okay, now you're going to take your dressing. And I think I need to put a little bit of salt inside. Okay, okay. Guys, that's 6 minutes 26 seconds so far. Stir that. And you're going to drizzle that all over your salad. Oh, nicey, nice. Let me get in there with a little close-up. Now, another thing I like to do, guys, is I like to also put half a teaspoon for a little bit of sweetness of honey. So if you have any honey and you like that a little bit of sweetness, like with the cheese and the walnuts, it just goes very nicely together. Okay, so salad number two. Done. That took seven minutes on the dog. Okay. So these are our fresh salads, guys. So again, this is something that you want to have, you know, when you're having a barbecue, you're having dinner, something easy, quick, a little different than your usual salad. Um, the second, the, the last two salads we're going to make are the ones that Those are going last longer. in your fridge. You can eat them uh, for two to three days and they'll stay fresh. Okay. So, we're going to do the cabbage. Alright guys, purple cabbage salad. This one is amazing. It tastes better the second or third day, especially if you've got a nice piece of fish, turkey, uh, some, some, some steak. So, you'll need two tablespoons of mayonnaise. You'll need a half, of, it's very simple this one. Half a squeezed lemon, you'll need a pinch of sea salt. You'll need a medium cabbage, purple cabbage. So, grab a cabbage, we got one, we chopped it in half already. And I'm going to dice it up for you. Okay, especially for viewing purposes here, this is the perfect size. Um, you'll need some feta cheese and some olive oil. Simple, simple, simple. So, guys, I'm going to, because the cabbage is a little harder, I'm just going to give it to Dimitri to cut. Cabbage, okay, here's what you got to do, guys. You've got the muscles to, to do it. Yeah, so after you've rinsed it off, you want to make sure that you've cut in half, you've removed anything from the middle. Okay. Let's always wait, watch out. Okay. okay, and then we're gonna chop it up here so you guys can get a better view. I'm gonna wash the kale. So okay. this is, what we need for this one is a cabbage and some kale, okay? Okay, never chop it this way. You wanna make sure you remove the root. You see that, that deep part? We don't wanna be eating that part, okay? So we're gonna cut in the triangle right through the middle. That's the part that's got no flavor. That's the part that's going to break your tooth. That's the part that is very hard to eat. And that is the part that you can probably make in a soup or something else. But we don't want to be having that, okay? As you can see, it's just pure root. So we're going to get rid of that. And a lot of times, people are trying to eat healthy, especially when the weather gets better, and you know, you're tempted. You're going out, you got people having barbecues, and what do people typically make? Easy stuff, burgers, hot dogs, right? So you wanna make your salads keep you fresh and keep you eating something that you enjoy, okay? So again, you're always gonna cut it, instead of going from the top part, which is flat, we're gonna flip it over, okay? And then we wanna go in half, Okay, and then we're gonna dice it up in small pieces and we're gonna be cutting in towards ourselves in the angle. So one angle and then I directly cut it and I can start moving my cabbage along. Okay, so cabbage gets really messy and starts turning things purple. So I'm gonna dump it here as we go. No, because it like grows on you. This is half a cabbage and watch how big the salad's gonna be. Okay, we're gonna just go through and chop it down. And this is so healthy for you guys. Like super purple, high fiber. Purple cabbage, you've got the kale. Super, super healthy for you. 
lot of healthy uh, and, benefits. And check out how much is growing from this. And this is a half of the cabbage. Watch your finger. Don't worry, I got nine left. Okay, so. I think when the gym opens up, we should start cooking food for people. Right here, members. Yes. So for all you members watching, get ready. When the club is opening, we're gonna have cooking Friday nights. All right, almost done. Okay. So for this salad, guys, I'm not gonna whisk anything, a separate sauce for this. We're gonna do it directly in the bowl. How many um, you want so, to? Yeah, this whole bunch right here I just washed. So you can use your scissors. Are you using scissors? I like cutting. It makes me you look like more cutting? professional. Okay. Especially when we're on TV, right? Sure. Again, when you're cutting these up, because they're so long, go right through the roots, because the root part is the part that nobody likes to eat. Uh, so you, the stem right here. Sorry, the, the stem. stem. Yeah, so this is sometimes it's a little tough. So what you want to do is just break the stem off, and then just use your DC kale. Wow, this is a lot. Yeah, and kale gives you like a lot of volume to your salad. So this is gonna end up like feeding six people. And guys, remember, if you're making the salad and you have all this beautiful vegetables out, it's already pre-washed. It's so much easier to throw it in a protein shake later on at night for dinner too. And dinner too is something that we preach to all of our members. You're talking about just the kale. Yeah. Uh, yeah let's, like, so let's say you have a dinner right now, six o'clock, seven o'clock. You have your vegetable. You got some salad. You got some fish. You got some so steamed how vegetables, is this? right? Okay, guys. Two, three hours later, ten o'clock runs around. You're watching TV. You're hungry. You want something to eat. Make yourself a protein shake. Get some protein powder from Pure Motivation Fitness. Throw some vegetables in. Throw some kale, throw some water, throw some peanut butter, throw some ice. There you go, done. Okay, so our dressing's gonna go just directly into this bowl. So we're gonna start off, again, with two tablespoons of olive oil. Yep. And then Dimitri- We have like, half a lemon juice. We have uh, two tablespoons, or I would say for this portion, because we have so much, I would say three quarter to two, no, sorry, half cup of mayonnaise. Uh, half a cup is a lot, three tablespoons pretty good. So you're going to do three tablespoons. You got your one, maybe actually do four, four tablespoons for what we just did. Remember one thing guys, when it comes to gaining yeah. body fat, you can't, you can't gain weight and this won't put inches on your midsection. What's going to put inches on your midsection is having high levels of food called calories in general going in your mouth and you're not moving no exercise so it doesn't matter what you're having but typically carbohydrates are the foods or fruits that are going to be involved in making you gain weight or not be able to stick to a weight training program not so, your dressing uh, salt with about a teaspoon okay and then what's our other ingredient in this uh we got some feta oh, cheese feta. 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 that's what makes it more even more creamier so again this one you just put it inside a tupperware and it's good for two Guys, you know what was really amazing last week when we finished making our carb salads? I didn't have to worry about what I was going to be having in terms of carbohydrate-wise for the next two days because I've already had it made. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, oh my God, why would you want to eat the same food over and over again? Well, in order to consume 4,000 calories a day in terms of carbohydrates, I'll give you a little example. 4,000 calories a day of carbohydrates would mean that you're having a fist and a half of carbs at every meal. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner one, dinner two for myself. So in order to have that much food available, you have to make it in bulk, right? So guys, again, if you don't have lemon, um, you want to use uh, apple cider. Apple cider vinegar, yeah. yeah. You're gonna toss that all in. You've got your feta, you've got your mayo, olive oil, salt, if you wanna add pepper. 
This is one of my favorite salads, guys. I'm gonna yeah. get in there so you can zoom in there. The uh, kale and the cabbage really holds like uh, the crunchiness. That's why it's good, and you can put it in a Tupperware for a few days. One number one. And number two. So what I like to do in here too is if you want to throw in some walnuts, some uh, sunflower seeds, Got it. any kind of nuts, whatever you like, you know, almonds, you can throw that in there too. And it's also fine in the fridge for a few days, okay? All right, guys, we are coming down. Salad number three. Perfect. So now our last salad. So that took 15 minutes, 25 seconds. Why? We have to cut this too. We have to look nice and, 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 and pretty on camera. Okay, salad number four. This is it, our last one, okay? This is the cauliflower, chickpea, tomato, and dill salad. Here's your ingredients in terms of what you need. You need three tablespoons of any um, yogurt, creamy dill dressing. Now, Francesca showed you how to make the last one. You just get olive oil, some plain Greek yogurt, mix them together, garlic. then you can add your levels of garlic, salt, yeah. and pepper. You also will need one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of sea salt and crushed black pepper, two to three long stems of green onions. So these bad boys right here, okay? You'll need half a cauliflower chopped in half, um, you'll need one cup of chickpeas, which I'm going to open up right now, a large tomato, or you can use small cherry tomatoes. And you'll need three to four stems of fresh dill. Again, all right? So we shall begin. Okay, so do you want to do this salad in here? You, you got it. And then I'm going to open up this. As always, step number one, wash your vegetables. Step number two, make your dressing. Step number three, chop what you need. Step number four, put them in your bowl. So guys, we're using cauliflower today. This recipe too, you can switch up the cauliflower and if you like broccoli more than cauliflower, then go ahead and use uh, some broccoli for this uh, salad, okay? okay so I'm gonna go ahead and chop off my cauliflower. Now this salad, guys, it has a little bit more um, carbs because we're adding some chickpeas to this, okay? Um, like we said last week in one of our dishes that we made, cauliflowers have some carbs, but very, very, very little. Very like for, I think, a cup or two cups, it's only five grams of, or four grams of carbs. Which so, is nothing because it's mostly fiber. Yeah. Now, when it comes to beans, guys, a lot of people are always asking, hey, can I use canned beans or use fresh beans? If you want to use fresh, hard, solid, dry beans, no problem. My mom used to use them when I was a kid, but you've got to let them soak overnight or for like a day. And uh, sometimes that just for me ruins the flavor. Get yourself a, a reputable company can of beans, rinse them out very thoroughly to they get rid of the organic, high sodium, and then you're good to go from there. Yeah. Chop off uh, the tomato? Yes. You want it in chunks? Or you want to slice this? Not quite like. Yeah, like some square pieces. So guys, for someone who's maybe trying to lose weight, if you're having this salad and a piece of fish, a piece of chicken, some shrimp with it, a steak, um, maybe because it already contains chickpeas and it has some carbs, right. maybe you don't, don't want to have, you know, uh, other carbs on the side, rice, potatoes, you know, because you're just you're adding onto the carbs, okay? So for this one, we're just making it easy. Like Dimitri said, you can either make your own salad dressing like I did before with the Greek yogurt. Um, but for this one, we're just gonna make it nice and easy. I picked up. So I'm gonna do these in squares, guys. So I picked up this dill, feta and dill. 
called Rolling Ma, you see that, yeah? So there's a lot of dill um, salad dressings out there, so you can just pick whatever you want. So we're going to use about three tablespoons of this dressing, and I'm also going to use a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil, just because it helps to coat everything nicely, and I like to use um, not too much of the dressing, because you know, we want to watch our calories and our sodium, so we want to make sure that we're just using about, for the flavoring, like three tablespoons of this, okay? Guys, another thing I'm going to mention to you is, some of you probably are watching and saying, well, it must be easy to pick ingredients because you guys work in a gym and it's your lifestyle. I'm going to recap the, the main things you should be looking for when you're looking at ingredients. One, doesn't matter if you're buying cereal, if you're buying cookies, if you're buying tomato sauce, if you're buying salad dressings, the first ingredient you want to look for is what? No, it's not fat. No, it's not calories. No, it's not protein. It's sugar. So you want to look for any type of dressing. I don't care whatever the ingredient is, you look for sugar. If it's got three and less grams, you're on the better scale. If you've got three different dressings out, one's got five, one's got ten, one's got two, you obviously move the two forward. Second, you go to the fat content, okay? Now, if ingredients like mayonnaise or avocados or nuts have a high fat content, that's a healthy fat for you, you don't have to worry, okay? So like olive oil as well. Olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use about two tablespoons. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chickpeas. So Dimitri has already rinsed these. Um, so you can either do half a can or a full can. It's up to you. So right now I think we're gonna go ahead and use half a can. Ooh, and then we need, so for this recipe again, you can either use red onion, if you like red onion, or we have our green onions right here. Sorry, I'm just going to rearrange this. You get a battery check up there. Beautiful. Okay, just to add some green, some more flavor. I'm just going to go ahead and chop that inside, cut it inside. Guys, another thing you can do that I like to do is add tuna inside here. Mm. So you have your carbs, your protein, your vegetables, everything, a full meal. And if you're taking this with you tomorrow, guys, instead of you worrying about, oh my gosh, where am I going to find a microwave, where am I going to warm this up, you get in a small container, you put it there, you're good to go. If you want to have your tuna separately, you can separately, you can warm up your chicken breast separately, but you can't get any better than a healthy organic salad that literally, if you're looking at it, and you've got the Italian colors here, green, white, and red, um, if you're looking at these meals, you will automatically want to choose to eat healthier, and it's easy. If you're looking at meals that are not going to be um, homemade, that don't have that soul foodness into it, chances are you're going to derail off your program. If you don't like fish, you don't like tuna, you can always add two hard-boiled eggs on yes. top of this, some nuts. Some chia seeds, there you go. You got your protein ready to go. Who's gonna eat all these salads now, guys? We gotta have you come and join us. We're gonna do curbside pickup. I know Mark and Jonathan are gonna come over and pick some up, right, Jonathan? Come in right away. Right away. So, lastly, Francesca's adding in her green onions. Any reason why you like those guys versus those are chives, correct? Uh, yep. Yeah versus your red or your or your white onions? Um, they're just a little lighter in flavor. I find that the red, um, you know, onions, strong? yeah, I find it a little too strong. But you boil it. So again, this is for a nice summer fresh salad. And what I want to do is I want to cook this salad in the Tupperware so that they can see. You got it. And we're going to go ahead and just pour that. you can visually see how much we have and I mean Dimitri and I will probably eat half of this and then again for tomorrow we'll have some left over in the fridge so and there's our number four salad so there you have it guys super easy okay who's here we got a bunch of people fox and fur how are you 
We got uh, Julie Marini, Imran, what's going on? So here you go guys, first salad, creamy dilly, romaine Greek salad over here, different salad, that? Greek salad, arugula, you got your pear, parmigiano, walnut salad over here, you got your purple and green kale, uh, so green kale, purple cabbage salad with some feta cheese and some lemon and olive oil. And mayo. And mayo. Yep. And then we got our last cauliflower, dill chickpea, dressing. dill, and tomato salad. Okay? You can't get any better With than chives. that. With chives. With chives. Can't get any better than that. So guys, I really hope uh, that you enjoy these salads. I hope that it was something new that you haven't had before, hopefully. Yes. And we've inspired you to make something different and something new. And I, I hope what we're trying to get out there and what we're trying to push in terms of a movement and a message is for you to get along and do some food prep every Sunday night. I can't stress how much less anxiety you're gonna have. I can't express how much more determined and more focused you'll be. People are asking me, when is your gym gonna open up? I can't wait to come back, I need to lose weight. That's not the answer, okay? We gotta solve the problem of this. One, as humans, we need to move more, okay? Two, we need to eat less. We gotta eat clean foods. So even if you said, Dimitri, can I have a little bit of bread with my dinner? If you had a half a plate of salad and a piece of fish or chicken or turkey or eggs or tofu, whatever you're having, and then you had a small piece of carbohydrate, that's not gonna be a problem versus you constantly having so many meals that are full of carbohydrates, okay? So one of our devices has just shut off. No, no, nope, nope, I'm fixing it. You're fixing it? Okay. So good. Maybe if you want to unmute some of the people since you're there. Yeah, let's see if you have any questions, way, guys. Do you guys have any questions for us? So any questions so. from there? Any questions from our live viewers? Great well, advice, always learning. Much. Love it. Thank you. Did you guys enjoy those? Yeah, they, they look really good. Well, the arugula one looks really good. Different. Yes, it's so yummy. It's delicious. One of our favorites. Thank you for joining us, Instagram. Thank you guys. We will see you as always. Thank you for following us on our Zoom channel. We will see you guys tomorrow morning, 9.30, bright early, ready to rock. Take care and have an amazing weekend. Bye, guys. Happy Sunday. Bye. See you later. See you yeah. next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 That one we can edit.